We're here this afternoon in South Africa House, right here in the middle of London, in uh, Trafalgar Square, because on Tuesday evening, about 9 o'clock, two gunmen shot dead a guy whose name is uh, Bazooka Radibi in Pondoland in South Africa. Bazooka is a community, was a community leader of the Am Amadiba people and he was organizing with them against a huge mining project in order to get titanium, a company from Australia called MRC was due to try and dig up all the sand dunes along the coast which is known as the Wild Coast. And what happened was the community said no, this will destroy not only the land but it will also destroy the ecosystem and our way of life. It's communal land and they've been fighting the mine for the last eight years at least and during that time they've been organizing protests which has been very very clear the will of the people is no to mining but unfortunately the ANC government has been supporting big mining corporations and in this case has not stopped the mining project so it still uh, thinks it could go ahead but the people are against it so we have a situation of confrontation and in that situation community people have been systematically attacked and killed a young school student was uh, hit by whips uh, at least three people have been assassinated before Bazooka, but Bazooka was very well known. He's called Bazooka because he's a very good football player, apparently. He's very well known as a community activist, organizing in the community and known across South Africa. And his assassination has come as a huge shock. It's a, a, a shock which shines, it's like a shock of lightning, which draws light onto the real situation as a snapshot. And this uh, shock of lightning spread around the world. Over 100 organizations within 24 hours have been sending protests to the Australian government, to the South African government, and we decided that we should do something here in London as well. Because the, the, the role of finance in London in relation to mining in South Africa is still ongoing today. It's a great shame that after 20 years and more now, after the ending of apartheid, we still have the same basic economic structures that were in place during the apartheid era. If the country economically is still largely controlled by big corporations and big finance. And this is just one chapter, one incident in this larger story. And much of the money is still coming to, not only to Australia but to London. And we are completely opposed to the continued exploitation of African people by foreign corporations. African lives matter and we wanted to draw attention of the world to the situation in South Africa to remember Bazooka Radebe and say no to mining on their land.